Did you know that there's this trading strategy called the engulfing candlestick that many people find it difficult to trade? It's actually a super profitable way to make a lot of money. But here's the catch. Some folks aren't too keen on making trading decisions based on the size of the candlestick. And for beginners, it can be a bit tricky to spot these engulfing candlesticks. So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you in simple terms and show you a trading strategy that has an impressive 87% win rate. Isn't that mind-blowing? Make sure you watch the whole thing because I'll be sharing some important tips that you wouldn't want to miss out on. Alright, let's break it down step by step to understand the engulfing candlestick pattern and how it can be a powerful trading signal. The engulfing candlestick is a tool used by traders to spot potential trend reversals in financial markets. It consists of two candles, where the body of the second one completely covers the first one. When a green candle covers a red one, it's called a bullish engulfing pattern, suggesting the price might go up. On the other hand, if a red candle covers a green one, it's a bearish engulfing pattern, indicating the price might go down. Traders find the engulfing candlestick pattern reliable for predicting momentum shifts because it shows a significant change in market sentiment. However, to make the most of it, we need to confirm with other technical indicators and manage risks carefully. It's important to understand the market conditions and context to use this pattern effectively. We'll look for engulfing candlestick trades near supply or demand zones, and to make it easier for you, we'll use two indicators to help us spot these trades. These indicators will help us detect when supply or demand zones are visible and when candlesticks are likely to be engulfed. So, let's proceed and learn how to enter trades using these simple rules. Alright, let's get started by adding our first indicator. Look for the Fluid Trades indicator in the tab and find the one by this TradingView Guru. This indicator helps us identify supply and demand zones using pivot points, showing recent highs and lows. The goal is to make it easy for you to spot these zones, so you can spend less time marking up charts and more time executing trades. Before we proceed, let's adjust the settings to reduce false signals and increase our success rate. For this example, we're using the British pounds against the Japanese yen pair on a 30-minute time frame. In the indicator's input tab, change the swing high slash low length to 50, increase the supply slash demand box width to 5, and set the history to keep option to 5. Scroll down and match the indicator's options to the color of your chart to hide them. For example, if your chart is black, change the supply and demand outline option to black as well as the BAS and POI label to black. Slightly increase the supply and demand color as well. That's all for this part. These supply and demand zones are crucial when using the engulfing candlestick strategy. When price action reaches the supply zone, we expect prices to bounce back down, creating an opportunity for bearish entries. Conversely, when price action reaches the demand zone, we anticipate prices to bounce back up, creating a chance for bullish entries. However, keep in mind that price action might create new highs and lows in the market by breaking above the supply zone or below the demand zone. This is where the engulfing candlestick comes into play. Detecting engulfing candlesticks while the market is active can be challenging, even though there may be many engulfed candles. To make this easier, We'll add the engulfing candles indicator by Remunaz. Once added, this indicator will signal points where potential engulfed candles occurred. Fortunately, we don't need to change any settings for this indicator. To get a valid buy signal, we wait for the candlestick to touch the blue color demand zone. Once the candlestick switch touches the demand zone, we look for the next signal from the engulfing candlestick indicator. If the next signal is red, we avoid entering any trades and move on. But if it's green, we enter the trade. Now, we look for the bullish engulfing candlestick, which is indicated by the green signal below the candlestick. To open the trade, we wait for the next candlestick to close, making sure the green signal remains on the chart. Then, we place a buy order at the close of that candlestick. For the stop loss, we put it slightly below the demand zone, as prices might retest it before moving upward. This is a common occurrence so it's crucial to place the stop loss accordingly. When it comes to take profit levels, I like to use two times what was risked in the market.
In another example, we notice another retest on the demand zone when the wick of the candlestick touches it. This shows why it's important to use a stop level slightly below the demand zone for bullish trades. After the retest, we see a green signal from the engulfing candlestick, confirming a valid entry. Again, we wait for the next candlestick to close, ensuring the signal and demand zone are still active on the chart. For the stop loss, we use the same strategy of placing it slightly below the demand zone in case of another retest. And for the take profit, we still use two times what was risk. By following these simple steps, we can make more informed and successful trades using the engulfing candlestick indicator. If you want to use this strategy, always remember these key points. Look at this example where price action touched the supply zone, but before our rules for entering trades is yet to be complete, the supply zone was no longer active, and the bearish signal became invalid because the zone was broken. So stick to the mentioned conditions for profitable trades. Now let's talk about the sell trades, which work the opposite way. First, we wait for price action to retest the recent supply zone, meaning we want to see the candlestick touch that area. Then, we look for the next bearish engulfing candlestick, which is a red signal. In this example, we can see that the next signal was indeed a red one. Once we have the right conditions met, we open the sell order at the close of the trigger candlestick. For the stop loss, we place it slightly above the supply area, just in case there's a retest. And for the take profit, we still use two times what was risked in the market. As you can see, this strategy was successful in this case. Let's now explore more examples to help you better understand how to use this trading strategy. As we can see here, the price action nearly touched the demand zone, which would have been a good buy trade. However, since that condition wasn't met, we decided not to take this trade. Now, we have a valid bearish signal here. The price action retested the supply zone, and the bearish engulfing signal confirmed it. So, we opened the trade at the close of the next candlestick, with the same stop loss and take profit as before. And it turned out to be successful. Moving on, we notice another new retest, and the bullish engulfing signal confirms the entry conditions. So, we take a buy trade at this point, using the same stop loss and take profit levels. Again, it was successful. We only take trades at important levels where price is likely to reverse and hit our take profit. By risking less in the market, our profit levels are easily achieved. This strategy has a good track record on the 30-minute time frame, but you can try it on another time frame to see if it works for you. I hope this helps you become a profitable trader. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to the channel. Your support motivates us to create more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.